In this video, we'll configure the management interface on each switch as a best practice. The Cumulus switches will typically have a management interface intended for all administration on the switch. On the Cumulus BX series, that will be port Ethernet 0, as shown in our network diagram for all the switches reflected here, there, and so forth. Now those ports are plugged into a dedicated management switch, which is not reflected in our diagram but that is where our computer is also connected to for all administration purposes. But it is recommended to configure the management interface and associate it to a virtual isolated network separate from the networks that we'll be configuring on the switches, creating a true management interface. Now let's get started and let's configure the management interface on each switch using net commands. Starting on the spine one switch, Let's configure the management port with the IP address based on our network diagram, which would be 192.168.101.161. So first you need to determine the interface name that should be configured with an IP address. Well, we can get that name using the command net show interface. Looking at this list of interfaces by name, the management interface would be Ethernet 0. And you see that that particular interface is currently up and running. So with that information, here's how we can configure an interface with an IP address. So to do that, we need to do a net add command and I want to configure an interface. What you notice is that I can type in part of the command and do a tab key to fill in the rest if it is a valid command. So you do net add interface followed by the interface name, which would be Ethernet 0, followed by IP address that we want to configure, and the IP address that we want to configure will be 192.168.101.161 with a class C mask, so it would be a slash 24. Next, let's create a name for this management interface, which is configured as an alias. So you do that by simply saying net add interface for Ethernet 0 and the alias name I'm going to call it be something like management or something like that. Next we want to put that management interface into the default management VRF instance that is already available for us to use. So to do that I can say net add VRF management and now I can simply go ahead and add that interface of Ethernet 0 and put that into the VRF instance called management. Now I would also recommend configuring a gateway if the switches will be accessed from a different network. So for us, for example, since our management network is part of the 192.168.101 network, then that command will be doing a net add interface Ethernet 0 IP gateway and that gateway IP will be 192.168.101.1, something like that. So that's how you would typically do that. And that is it. So let's go ahead and commit our changes. So do a net commit. Now as a best practice and starting out, let's do a net pending. And that will show all the commands that we have entered so far at this point. We configure the interface with the IP, configure an alias for that, the VRF management and the assignment, and of course the default gateway. So now we want to commit all of these changes. And that has been completed. Now let's confirm that we can connect remotely to spine one on this management interface. For testing, let's go to a terminal window on my system and let's do an SSH followed by the username, which is Cumulus. And the IP for that will be the management IP of 192.168.101.161. Great, we are connected, let's say yes. And the password for that is Cisco123 and great. We are connected to the management instance on Spine 1. So with that working, let's complete the same configuration but with different management IPs on the other data center switches. 